What is good everyone, it's Zigzag here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm back in Minecraft and I'm going to be guessing the country from the Minecraft creations that my fans have made for me once again. Last time I went pretty well, but I didn't manage to get above half. This time that's what I'll be shooting for again. We got 15 locations for you guys. Super excited to see them for the first time, just like you. And uh, I say let's get straight into the first location and see if I can guess the country. Okay, the first location here made by Teal and Funky and we are free to move within the border here. Um, This also applies to their other builds. so they've got a couple more over there, but this is the first one. So we appear to have yellow outside lines with orange inside lines here. So I wonder about that. Maybe these ones are actually meant to be white and these ones in the middle are meant to be yellow. But okay, let's take a look around here. Apparently this is based on a real location as well, like a real life place. So we have some brick buildings here. Architecture could be European, could be North American, something like that. We have pine trees as well. Oh, we have some fields here. Definitely a nice looking place, that's for sure. Yeah, just some more houses. Oh, it's not too complicated here. We have some power lines as well. I mean, it would seem that they were made of concrete rather than of wood. So maybe that would make Europe more likely here. Okay, okay. Um, and this is the end of the build. Okay, so we don't really have too, too much to go off of here, Um, but we can take a look at more at these houses. Oh, yeah, I could see like Serbia here. It's possible. Okay, we do have some wooden power lines as well. Okay, so this thing in the sky symbolizes the sun. So let's check where the sun is. Uh, we can open up F3 here and see that the sun is facing south. So the sun is going to be south there. And that means we should be in the Northern Hemisphere, which is about what I expected here. Let's check out, let's check out what we got going on inside the cars here. So we got a rear plate. Do we have a front plate? We do not have a front plate. That is interesting. So North America immediately feeling more likely again now. Um, With the amount of pines, maybe it's Southern. So I could see maybe like, like one of the Carolinas or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's probably what I'm feeling here. Although something else about it maybe felt a bit more Northern with the chimneys on the, all the houses. So why don't I go then for like, where do we see a lot of brick? Maybe like, you know, like Ohio. That, that could seem like a reasonable bet. I mean, it is very flat. So that would also fit. I think that'll be my guess. So uh, let's go ahead and find out here. Wait, Wait, Ohio doesn't use front plates, at least normally they don't, so seems like a reasonable guess. Yeah, I'll go for Ohio here, why not? Let's check out where it actually was. And it was Quebec near Montreal. So did not get the country actually. I Maybe I should have considered Canada a little bit more. But I do wonder if there are actually any language hints there. I didn't think I saw any. So, okay, a good little one there. And uh, we miss out on this occasion. And by the way, here is the actual location from that Quebec location that we just had. And uh, looks pretty interesting. Um, I can definitely see how they were related to one another. I definitely see the similarities. And there were quite a few pine looking trees, but uh, I thought they might be the Southern Pine that you often see in the south of the United States. And there's that house as well. So yeah, definitely can see that. All right, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Okay, let us head into this next location here, looking quite different to the last one. So uh, let's take a look around. And also Funky told me that we should be looking out for more clues than we did last time, potentially. So that is a good thing to know. Um, immediately not too sure what I think of this one just here, but this one says no blue strip. Okay, so we are working in a country that does not have blue strips and has front plates this time. So that's a bit different. We see, ooh. We see some language. We have a little hook over that C. So that definitely reminds me of some Eastern European languages. That's good to know. Returning here immediately with this C and the fact that this car has no blue strip on it, I would immediately think of Croatia. So I think we should be like on the coastline of Croatia somewhere. Also this kind of nicer looking boat here, that would definitely make sense. So yeah, actually I'm relatively confident here unless it could be Slovenia, but in Slovenia, the lack of blue strip is definitely less common. So I don't really think I need to check out the sun here at all. I think we should be fine to just guess Croatia here and uh, move on with our day. And it was right there in Makarska in uh, Croatia. So that is a nice little result. Happy with that. Okay, and here was the actual location. So we had these boats over here. Yep, I can definitely see it. I mean, it would be cool if we could see the mountains in the background, but obviously that's too hard to build. Um, yeah, definitely a cool and well-built location there. So uh, let's move on to the next one, shall we? This one is pretty cool. Okay, so another one by our friends here. Let's take a look. So what are we thinking about these road lines exactly? This is interesting. Ooh, this black and white here, this would make me think of Israel. Definitely that's the country where you see that the most, but we could still be in other countries, nevertheless. Oh, uh, we have like an orange sign as the number plate this time, so could that mean it's yellow? I wonder, I wonder. Um, okay, we got strips. Oh, we got plates on both sides here. Taking a further wander down here. It's not as dry as you may expect. So maybe I was thinking of like Haifa or something in northern Israel. It's certainly possible. Um, the sun is not anywhere to be seen this time, so that's fine. But yeah, I think with these, that should be the big clue here that this looks kind of 
uh, is Rayleigh. We do have the same road lines as we did in the last one, so that does give me a pause for thought here, but still feeling good, I think. So we can see the headlights of the car here. That means it's definitely driving on the right-hand side of the road, which is good, which is good, but... I do wonder, could I be tunnel visioning a bit here? I mean, I've, I, I'm reading quite far into these poles. If I was looking around at this landscape, I'm not sure if I would initially pick Israel because I would normally expect it to be sandier rather than like dirt like this. So I wonder, but I feel like I should go for it here. Okay, well, I think that's about as much as I'm gonna get from this. If my if my second choice here would be Russia somewhere, um, but yeah, I'm just not really too sure. So I think I'll go for that. Let's find out if we are correct or not. Ooh, kind of interested to see what this is actually. And it was actually just West Bank, north of Jerusalem. So in guess we count Israel and Palestine as one to make things easier. So that counts as a win for us, happy with that. And so here was the actual location. So yeah, we have these poles with the black and white stripes and you can see it actually was a bit more dirt than sand so i definitely agree with that design decision it's actually a really cool build that they did and uh yeah i was right so that is another one here we were just in the west bank okay so here we are at the next one this one's made by ladder made this one's made by Laid Mad and easy floppin oh uh, so thanks for making this guys and let's check out what we got going on here so we got a google car here and it appears to be with a roof rack, okay. We've got a Google driver there, very nice. Um, yeah, so it's a white Google car with, yeah, a roof rack of some kind. Yep, I can see that, okay. We have a single white line in the road here, and I would say for that reason, it's probably not Kenya. Um, and what else do we have here? Wooden poles, okay. So I do wonder about Ghana then, but Senegal's still a possibility here. We have like some kind of mud huts here. Um, so definitely probably a poorer country. I mean, you would not see such buildings in many places. And uh, that's about what all we got here. It's a really nice build, but quite simple. Oh, but look at this. We have rifts in the sky. Wow, I was probably leaning Ghana over Senegal here because of the wooden poles, um, which you would probably be more likely to see in Ghana. But with these rifts in the sky, what else can they be? Yeah, it's four of them. Uh, we have to be in Senegal, surely. So I think we can uh, just go ahead and hit the answer here. This should be pretty much guaranteed, uh, but a really nice build nonetheless. And it was Senegal. There we go, very nice. Um, let's move on to the next one. Okay, next one here made by the same two individuals. Let's see what we got going on. Here we have, it's a, like a pickup truck with a, a little uh, hook here, which I would expect maybe is the Kenyan Google car. So let's see if we could, uh, get a good guess here. So we seem to have a lot of palm trees. If this was Kenya, then this would have to be Mombasa, surely. Um, the car itself is white, and half the time you used to get a white car, half the time a black car in Kenya. Okay, taking a look further down the road here. I mean, the house would certainly fit. It is interesting that they're stilts houses, but um, I wouldn't read into it too much. And we can go inside this building. Not that there's much going on, but uh, definitely definitely could fit for a Kenyan house. I, I don't see why it wouldn't. And yeah, I think it's more down to these trees. Now, would you see such a car anywhere else? Could this be, for example, like Northern Mariana Islands or something like that with the antenna like that? I'm not so sure because we don't have a roof rack. So that does give me a little bit of concern. Um, could it even be Christmas Island? It's always possible. But yeah, with this, uh, this is the main thing that makes me want to go Kenya here. Plus the kind of sandiness and the grass with these palm trees. And also we have the coast here, which I mean, if we open up our F3 here is to the east. So um, that would also fit because at Mombasa, the ocean is to the east. So I would say uh, let's guess Mombasa here, but still the possibility that we're wrong. So let's check it out. It was Cocos and Keeling Island. Wow, I really thought when the ocean was to the east there that we'd have it correct, but this was just the snorkel on the Cocos and Keeling car, which makes sense. I thought they might've just forgotten the roof racks, but uh, that was the reason. So there we go, we failed that one. Was well, kind of a tough round, I will say, but definitely well built. And now that they said it, I can definitely see that this is Cocos and Keeling, especially with this house. This house in hindsight was not super Kenyan, but okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, here we are at the next location. So apparently there are some facts and hints about this municipality around the location. So let's take a look. I mean, initial thought here is like Sweden or Norway based on the architecture, but it could be somewhere else. So uh, the lampposts are supposed to be dark green, but there is no thin dark green block that works. Okay, so we got some dark green lamp posts here interesting not really sure if that gives me too much of a hint i mean now that i see some more buildings i could see this being elsewhere as well license plate with a blue strip okay that would fit for most of my thoughts so far 
Fun fact, the oldest airport in the country is located in this municipality. Okay, okay. Um, small colored mailboxes are not easy to make true. Okay, the last battle to unify this country was fought in this municipality a long time ago. That's interesting. And we saw what I was hoping we'd see, a, a red house here. So that would definitely fit for Sweden. I'm not too fond of this one, but it's the best I could do. So yeah, this here is a meant, a meant to be painted wood, apparently, which is good to know. Ooh, this crossing could certainly feel quite Danish or Swedish. Certainly, certainly. Okay, coming towards the end here. Um, more mailboxes than you really can't make. Okay, and there's a car. Okay, so, you know, I could still see with uh, this house here almost feels like a bit Austrian as well. So, I can still certainly see a number of places. My initial thought was Sweden. I'm not confident, to be honest. There's not enough red houses to make me super confident that this is Sweden. But being as how it was my first thought, and I feel like it at least somewhat adds up all around here, I want to go for that. Now, a municipality, would they say that in Sweden? Hmm. I mean, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, they all make sense here, I think. So I must just hope that I'm close here. Um, it should be one of those. I hope it's one of the ones I mentioned at least, but my official guess is Sweden. So let's find out. And it was in Norway. So not a bad guess. I guess perhaps the lack of red houses would be more likely to be in Norway, but we're in um, Kloverwegen there. Um, in solar, so not a bad guess, but yeah, a little disappointing to miss out on the country there for sure. Okay, next one's by Hedwig205, and we are free to move around. So let's check out what we got going on here. So then we have a Google car that says S106AWD. That's interesting. Could this be even South Australia? Hmm. Just trying to remember what it is on our plates, but I believe South Australian plates go S and then the three letters at the end. So could be, could be still. Uh, we have the same number plate at the back. Okay, good to know. Um, we appear to be driving left-hand side of the road. I would say so. Yeah, this looks like the front of the car. So yeah, I would say we're probably driving left here. That's good to know. This certainly could be an Australian blood with the red on the left side and the white on the right side. The kind of gray on the right side. Okay, so let's take a look at what it says here. This could be a big clue. Care for a slice? Thank you. Next one says, oh, floodway. That's very Australian. That's a very Australian sign. So I like Australia here all of a sudden. We could also check the direction of the sun here, but I'm relatively confident that I'm actually correct here. So I'm going to go without it this time. Just like in GeoGuessr, let us guess Australia here. And I'm going to say it is maybe Northern South Australia. Yeah, let's guess like somewhere near Broken Hill or something like that on the South Australian side of the border. Let's go here, see what it says. Okay, so is the A32 highway in Australia? Let's check out where that actually is. Okay, so is it the A32 that I guessed? Oh yes, I guessed the right one, let's go. That is kind of incredible that I managed to get that close. I mean, I just looked at the grass on the side of the road, the floodway, it kind of made sense, but uh, I can't believe I actually guessed it correctly. So well done there. Um, yeah, I guess the A32, that's the only one. If you look here, that's the only one that was covered there. So that is what I was trying to get. There's Broken Hill, kind of good, let's go. So far, we're four out of seven countries. Uh, let us go with this one, which is made by Killy. Um, there are four hints around the building and maybe the doors will help me. Okay, very interesting. I, uh, I'm interested by that indeed. There's the airfield. Okay, I mean, this this almost feels like Midway Atoll or something like that, I wonder. Because it's super flat, kind of sandy, but grassy. Um, we've got some kind of a feast going on here, which is cool. Maybe I'll have a piece of cake. So uh, let's check out what is going on around this building. The doors will be a clue. Well, not these ones, maybe. Yeah, what could, what could a clue be about those doors be? I wonder. Maybe not here either. It says, this place has an area of 6.27 kilometers squared. That is interesting. Let's take a look at this now. This island lies halfway between Asia and North America. I think I'm right, you know. And maybe a synonym of halfway could help. Midway, perhaps. Midway at all, perhaps. Go inside here. This bird is literally everywhere on this island. I I think they Yeah, this is definitely Midway at all. If we're talking about birds here, Midway at all is known for having a ton of this bird um, everywhere. Um, so I think I'm absolutely correct. What's kind of impressive here is that uh, when I saw the runway, I kind of already knew. Not entirely, but uh, definitely, definitely good. Okay, so we don't even have to check this here. I know I'm right, but let's just check it anyway. And there we go. Midway at all. Hope you enjoyed the build. I certainly did. Well done. 
to our killer here, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this one is Wretched Lives Build, and uh, we stand on the golden pressure plate for the answer. Wow, this is cool. So let's take her out. I mean, immediately kind of looking like Netherlands, uh, kind of Amsterdam kind of vibe here. So let's check out what we've actually got going on here. Oh, we've got a bunch of these flags around. I wonder what they mean, because I'm not familiar with them. Okay, well, let's take a look. Oh, are these bikes? That would definitely make sense for Netherlands. I think this might be like a bike rack here. Oh, yeah, we have a yellow plate as well. Surely this is Amsterdam. Surely this is Amsterdam. Another, another yellow plate here. Okay, this is very creative with the plate. I like that design. Yet another yellow plate here. The architecture certainly fits. I mean, the fact that it's all three-story buildings or four-story buildings here would certainly fit for Amsterdam as well, I should say. And also we got the canal here. So yeah, I'm relatively sure that we should be there, right? Okay, I think I have my guess. Let's check out if I'm correct or not here. Answer is on the next page. It was Amsterdam, Netherlands. Let's go, we got the exact city. Very happy with that, but all things considered, not the hardest round either. So yeah, happy. Okay, next one is made by Slippy Slipper. We've got uh, six more to go. Well, let's check out what this one's about. Okay, so we got no blue strip on this plate, it would appear. And we do have a front plate, okay. We got double yellow lines and we're driving right hand side of the road. I think the fact that the uh, white is only a little bit here might mean we are using short plates. So for example, like in Mexico or in USA or something like that. However, I must say that these poles look really Argentinian. Oh, the fact that they go one each direction like that certainly makes me think of Argentina. It's not a very complicated round here, so I think I'll just go for Argentina here. Obviously, we're driving right. I still think that Mexico is possible, but with these poles, I think I have to go for Argentina. And yeah, it was Argentina. Nice. The poles gave it away there. Otherwise, I probably would have gone for Mexico. So happy with that result. Let's go. All right, let's move into the next one here. This one is an ad for laundry and cleaning. Interesting, a unique start this time. Let's check out what we got going on here. So we appear to be driving on the right hand side of the road. We'll see what this says. Okay, we have an interesting number plate here. Blue text on the plate. What should that mean now? Yeah, A, B, J. Oh, interesting. I, I don't know exactly how I'd interpret that, but okay. We had English, by the way. Um, So blue on the number plate. There's a number of states and provinces in US and Canada I can think of for that. A, B, J. I'm not really sure how to interpret though. Michael Okpara Street. Ooh, and then that's it. Okay, so this one, we have white center lines here as well. That is interesting. Ooh, could this be the Nigerian police follow car? I wonder about Nigeria here. I mean, the fact that we have the name Michael Okpara, Okpara is certainly an interesting last name. Yeah, I mean, it could be, it could be. We have a divided highway as well, and uh, Nigeria is a country that has a lot of divided highways, and it drives right, so. Yeah, thinking of Nigeria here, even though my first thought was like literally Canada or something like that. So let's see what it says here. Oh, this is actually where we were meant to start and we got this black and yellow roof rack. So it is actually just going to be somewhere in Nigeria. Okay, that is really interesting. Um, This basically confirms it to me, but even without it, I would have gotten it. Um, It's almost more fun that I didn't see that at the start. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look here and confirm. And so it is indeed Abuja, Nigeria. Yeah, which is where you see these. Uh, so that makes a lot of sense. Very nice indeed. Okay, next one is another slippery slipper. Let's check it out. AAA123, we are driving. It would appear on the left-hand side of the road here. We have dashed yellow lines on the outside here. So a no parking zone of some kind, or we have it on both sides. Maybe this is Ireland. Maybe this is Ireland indeed. We've got King Street here. We've got a giveaway sign maybe? That would probably make sense, I think. Grosvena Street. That's interesting. Grosvena Street. What does that mean? I don't know. White center lines here. Hmm. Look at these. Ooh, these look like New Zealand poles with this like guard for possums around them. And they look to be made of concrete rather than wood, which you normally see in Australia. So I think this is actually New Zealand. And yeah, I do think New Zealand actually does do the yellow dashes as well as Ireland quite a bit. So also New Zealand, I think has six digits on the number plate as well. Uh, so it would all make sense for New Zealand here. And if I had to go for a guess, I, uh, uh, I don't think of a specific spot here, to be honest. I mean, why don't we? Let's just go for Auckland here. I think Auckland's a fine guess. And it's just New Zealand. Okay, so just a generic New Zealand there. We got it right. Let's go. Very good. So we are actually, we've got more than half of them correct so far. That's a W for me. Let's go. Happy with that. Okay. <laughs> this one is awesome. I can immediately tell what country we're in without moving here, which is just fantastic. We've got a blue strip on both of the sides of this number plate. So that immediately narrows us down to like Albania, France, and Italy. 
and France seeming most likely here because of these blue stickers on the poles. That's so genius. I absolutely love it here. And uh, we've got the uh, white and... Oh, this is so genius, bro. The white and blue chevrons, as you can see. That's the one that they use. And he's got... Oh, he's got stairs here for them. So clever. We've got our uh, uh, wheat. Yep, we got wheat. So that definitely makes sense for France as well. And uh, yeah, these blue stickers on the poles, very, very French indeed. Man, this is uh, a perfect France. I really, really like this. And uh, this guy is uh, either a mechanic or he's been run over. Looks like it's more that he's been run over, which is kind of sad. But uh, okay, my guess is probably just near Paris. Why not? Let's go for it. And it's just France. Very nice, very nice, very nice. What a great location. Love that one. Okay, we have another Slippery Slipper creation. Let's check out what we got going on here. Single yellow line, as it would appear, with a car driving right, so that would make sense. Mexico came to mind here. M83 ALC with blue text there. That makes me less sure, no front plate. Okay, so maybe Canada immediately more likely again. With a lack of front plates, not many places in Mexico you would see that. Array! Okay, we should be in French Canada. That is the only place in the world you actually see array stop signs because in France they just say stop. That's just the uniqueness of Quebec for you. So yeah, that's what I'm looking at here. This is certainly Quebec. Um, also, we got the maximum sign, which is only in Canada. But yeah, um, I think this should be fairly far north with this many trees. I think so far Slippery Slipper has just uh, given the place rather than the specific region. So let's see if I'm right. It is just Quebec Canada. Very nice in Indeed. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we have made it to the final location of the video, and this one looks pretty exciting. So this one is built by Zoe and Dasha with help from Anox and Drav. Shoutouts to these guys, legends of my community. We're going to be exploring around here and finding some Easter eggs. I must find them. Yes, I must find them. Okay, so apparently there are about five they told me in chat that I need to find here. So let's see if we can find all five of them. Here is the first place. We are at a toilet, a water closet of some kind here. Okay, very nice. Uh, we have a, what is that one? Like an axolotl or something. I think they added to Minecraft, right? So that is in a well here. I uh, I couldn't say I know exactly where this is. Ooh, is that a Catalan flag? Oh, uh, it says Suprema, Suprema, Supermercat. Interesting. Um, five meters is the clearance here. Okay. So yeah, I wonder if this is a Catalan flag. That is my question here. But okay, can we enter? No, it's just a library. Goccia di latte. I'm still not sure. The D reminds me more of Italy, I must say. But uh, yeah, that whole sentence reminds me more of Italian. It could still be Spain though, I think. Okay, let's see if we find any of these Easter eggs. Logna de tra the tra oh, the tapas. Tapas is, uh, tapas is, uh, Spanish food, that's for sure. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, I think we found the first Easter egg. Let's see what's up here. What does it say? Ooh, Zoe and Dasha's house. I mean, is this rude to go in? Let's find out what's inside here. Wow. We got the cat. We got the... We got the ovens, a mushroom, the bed, the green... Oh, is that like a, some kind of a dresser or something like that? Yeah, this is definitely cool. And here's the balcony. Wow, super nice. Okay, so nice house there. Uh, what's the cat's name? Can we find out? Oh, it's Zigog. <laughs> I like that. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so let us uh, move further in here. So we've got Ca Carrer de Esperia. Um, I'm thinking this should be Barcelona, right? This, this, this seems like it should be Barcelona. I think that's where you'd see most Catalan flags in a big city. I could be wrong though. Um, next one, some kind of a shop there. Vegan ice cream here. Okay, interesting. So if we have a bit of English like that, this is probably a pretty touristy place. That's that's my impression of that. A clo clothes woman, clothes men. I guess I will go into the men's one. Not many clothes in here. Stand here and pull the lever. Ooh, hello. Um, enjoy the. F the frogster egg. We've got a frog. It's a frog shrine. Can you see that? It's a frog and he's got the uh, water coming out of his mouth. Amazing. All right, back up we go. No parking. Again, in English there. Interesting. Okay, we got a pink room here. Purple, rather. Anything inside here? Go on, take one. Hmm, spyglass. Nice. Wow. We'll see. We'll see if we can use that for anything here. Flower shop. Okay. Everyone's eating fish, steak, lamb. Okay, okay. Santa Maria del Mar. No cameras or pictures, only spyglass. Ah, we needed that. So I think we're ascending to like the lookout point from the chapel here. There we go. And wow, there's someone standing on their balcony. Pretty cool, actually. Can we open this? There we go. Wow. Surely this is Barcelona. I'm looking at this. I'm saying surely. I'm saying surely. Okay. I think they are hinting to me by jumping around here that the final Easter egg might be up this way. So let's see if I can climb it up. Okay. A little bit of... <laughs> 
<laughs> a little bit of difficult parkour here. Let me see if I can work this out. Okay, we are up on the roof here. Let's follow, okay, follow the bushes along. I couldn't see this Easter egg from there, but we get a bit closer here and it says Australia 15,237 kilometers away. So that would definitely make sense for if we were in Barcelona. I mean, a bit of a tough Easter egg to see, uh, given that uh, my render distance was probably on a little bit too uh, near, but okay, nice. Uh, we found it. Okay, so let us go now and check out if we are indeed in Barcelona, as I expect we might be, or if this could be in some other Spanish city. So let's find out. And it was in Barcelona, Spain. Let's go, another victory there. So what does that bring us to? So I believe it was a 12 out of 15 score at the end of the day there. What an amazing video, guys. Shout outs to my fans who made some amazing builds in this one. I think all of them, even the simple ones, had a lot of charm. Man, the Amsterdam and the Barcelona, absolutely magnificent. Guys, if you want to be involved in building the next ones, go ahead, join my Discord server, hit the Minecraft roll up, and you can join the server. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you to the builders again. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Catch you later, and goodbye.